Alright everyone, so I know you've all heard about this, but, or maybe not, because we are JMRG7, your local soccer news station. Today we have a story for you, like, so, but judging from several various reports here, it would seem that a local scientist has been in trouble tracking down a meme over, and is seeking help from a professional meme analogist. Now I know most of you care nothing about this, but I nothing about this either. Now let's move on to the next story. Uh, some 95 year old Asian man has raised a platypus. So let's see what happens on that. Grump. My, there's my name flashing up on the screen momentarily. Okay, and now it's gone. So, everyone, today I have a caller named Will by the Science Guy, and he is having a problem with a meme ogre. So, let's zoom in and let's see what he's got his problem of. Hello, sir. Hello, are you there? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, sir. So, I have heard that you have recently had problems with a meme ogre wandering about and giving you troubles. Oh, yes, sir. It, it's horrible. This meme ogre has been following me everywhere, from the, my house to his swamp. I mean, there's just no end to it. I was wondering if you could come help me out with this, get rid of this ogre. Yes, sir, I can. So, where did you last see this ogre? Uh, I last saw this ogre uh, somewhere near my house, if not too close to it. So I was wondering if you could come on and help me look for it. Or you could just look for it yourself. I really don't want to be involved with this crap anymore. Yes, I can handle it myself, sir. But first, sir, you, you should probably know uh, the ogre probably won't be there. It's probably somewhere along around town. I don't know where it yep. could be. You might want to check the news because they might have it. All right, sir. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks for calling. All right. Thanks for helping. Bye. Bye, sir. All right. So, everyone, I have a file here on the board, so let's see what we got. No ogreism disease. Shrek, I believe, is the ogre I've tracked down here. And right here, somewhere around here, yes, this is an ogre. A very handsome one at that, but never was an ogre. Now, I have collected several notes, only four. There are eight, but I have four of them that were found with the onions. Also has this map given to me by Roll by the Science Guy, right here. And it shows what the swamp looked like. So I will use this to track him down if he is found to be in the swamp, but he may not be there. So what I need to do is look at the news, so I'll pull that up, which I have right here. Pavonia News. Alright, here we go. So, welcome back to KMRG News. Yeah, I got that right that time. Ha ha ha. I'm getting better at this. So, by judging these various reports, it would seem that the meme has been spotted in an area near the house of the duck pond. The duck pond or not? Oh, the swamp. I cannot lick me at all, people. I am very sorry. So let's show you this clip. It is very scary indeed. Guys, we are here at the duck pond. We're near the swamp. That's the where the private property fence goes up. But we found this thing you won't believe. I mean, look at this. 
We don't know what it is, but it is. What's it doing? It's dancing towards us. This is at the duck pond, guys. Yeah, avoid it. We gotta run. Look at that. Yeah, it's a very scary, terrifying clip. Now, who could help us get this meme over out of this area? I'm Steve Graffiti. We'll be back after this break. Alright, so we can zoom out now from our guide. As you can tell, we have found the location of the meme over. And based on what I'm hearing in this report, just let me get my handy dandy map out. I would have to think that our meme over, there is a duck pond right around, uh, well, somewhere. And I'm guessing it's, I think the duck pond is right here, it's not on the map. Which means that this is the area of the grasslands, which means the swamp is there. So now I think I know where to get the ogre. Let me just circle that area. This is the area that I believe the ogre will be. So let's go to that area. I'm going to change into some more sufficient clothes and get all my supplies for me coming. Hunting, I need to talk better. And then I'll meet you all in the swamp. So let's get there now. All right, everyone, we are here at the edge of the duck pond where we are walking into the swamp which is a private area here, but I've got permission to walk right on over this fence. And we, no, go behind me, behind me. And so, we are going to go over this fence and we are going to march ourselves right into the swamp where we're gonna hunt for that ogre. This entire thing's gonna get filmed, but we're gonna cut out the parts that aren't important. We'll make this quick. All right, let's get in here. What are you doing in my swamp? All right, guys. I think the ogre is close. We're gonna go. We're gonna cut through this way, guys. I think we got. I think we got it. Come on, guys. We got. We got the ogre right here. Everyone get him! Get away! Everyone follow him! Alright guys, I do believe I have the ogre corner. Oh yes, the ogre. Get over here, ogre. Take this, ogre. I have killed the ogre and so as you can see it's right here when that, you mess with the Shrek you'll get stabbed in the neck ah ogre Everyone, I have tranquilized this ogre, and I don't know why the ogre was able to withstand getting stabbed before. But now the ogre, I believe, is asleep. According to the tranquilizers, he should stay asleep for the next hour or so. So it gives us an hour to get him out of here and ship him off to California, where he'll never come back. Guys, I have taken the ogre to here. So we're out of the forest and out of the swamp, and we're back at the duck pond. But from now, what we're going to do is get this ogre loaded onto a truck, and we're gonna send him to somewhere like California or something, where he won't be bothering us on the East Coast. Sorry, West Coast, but suck it up for a while, because we don't want to deal with this stuff. And we're gonna build a wall to keep him in the West Coast, and to keep those immigrants out. And we will make the world a better place because there will be a wall between us and Colorado and we won't have to ever deal with Colorado again. So everyone, a lot of happiness, we've done it. Let's get this bad boy home. And so I 
Sir Ronald K. Grump had captured the ogre known as Shrek. And although it was not the easiest task that I had handled before, it was done. So you are welcome world, as I have done another deed you are welcome for. After the ogre had been captured, I ensured that a wall was built on the Rockies that went through Colorado and split the United States in two. Though we may never want to see what's on the other side of that wall, it may be terrifying and scar the rest of the United States for life, but we have saved the eastern half, so congratulations to ourselves. But just because the case has been closed on this does not mean that my work on this earth has been done. There are more rampant memes running around the earth and I must be the one to fan out and capture them. But now we should all be happy and celebrate because we, the people of the United States, are safe from these horrible dead memes and ogres. So, sorry about that, the camera has a spot on it. So earlier today, it was discovered that a 95, excuse me, folks, uh, don't talk a lot. Okay, yeah. Alright, so a 95 year old Burmese man named uh, Denrick Johnson, I suppose that's how you pronounce that first name. It was Denrick. Who cares? But he was found in the zoo alone with a two-year-old uh, Australian platypus named Susie. And what happened to this platypus was the platypus was sexually harassed in a way that may or may not have ejected uh, uh, ejaculation into the animal. And after investigation, he was arrested and sent to jail. But the authorities have investigated on this and it was found out that the cause of this was in fact NyQuil. She had taken two NyQuil pills and he in fact had to get one NyQuil pill. Thus the overdose of explaining it is un uh, humane actions on this poor animal. Uh, so I'm Steve Graffiti. This has been KMRG7 News. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.